Hi, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to remove the keyboard noise from the background of your audio recording using tools available in Adobe Audition. Right, so on purpose I've added quite a few keyboard clicks here. And the first thing you'll have to do is find the part of your audio where the keyboard clicks is the only thing audible. And if you don't have such part, then create it on purpose because next we're going to use it to capture the noise print. And once you do that, Adobe Audition knows that this part of your audio is noise and then you can select your whole audio recording and go to noise reduction restoration and choose noise reduction process. Uh, you can use the default settings or copy the ones I have. They don't differ much and you apply it to your whole audio recording and it will significantly remove uh, keyboard noise. Hi, so in this video we are going to take a look on how to remove right and i'm using a mechanical keyboard and i really went harsh with the way i clicked it so for you applying it once might be enough but if it's not like in my case you can then again select the same part of um, your audio where the keyboard noise was the most prominent and go capture a new uh, noise print and again apply the noise reduction effect and it will further re reduce uh, the keyboard noise from your audio. Hi, so in this video we are going to take a look on how to remove the keyboard noise. Now it's barely noticeable. But then what I like to do next is I, s I would select my whole audio recording. It's kind of optional and then you would go to effects, amplitude and compression and dynamics. Uh, uncheck the compressor and expander and leave the auto gate box checked. Uh, the release hold and attack settings, you can copy them. The threshold gonna differ for everyone but I've made a separate video on how to apply the noise gate so you can watch it. I'll give the link in the description. Um, once you figure it out, uh, you will apply it and it will clean up lots of the noise in between you speaking. So that will save lots of time, especially if you have a long video to work with. Uh, and that could be it. Um, but you probably have noticed that each time you apply a noise reduction tool, it does diminish your audio quality. So I would suggest using it uh, sparingly but then if you applied it a couple of times and you want to bring back some some of the initial audio quality i would use an equalizer so graphic equalizer in adobe audition and i noticed my audio sounds a bit muffled so i would try and demod it by scooping some of these frequencies from 200 to 400 range and adding like a tiny bit in the 2 to 8k range maybe one decibel something like that and it should bring some of the higher end frequencies and deal with the muddiness a bit and it should bring back some of the initial audio quality although it is still not going to be perfect. Uh, I just hope in your case the keyboard noise is not as severe as in this example and it should help you to deal with the keyboard noises. Hi, right, so in this video we are going to take a look on how to remove the keyboard noise from the background of your audio recording using tools available in Adobe Audition.